Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome to the class. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna wait just a few minutes for the rest of the people. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you had a very good day. And as usual, we're going to check about the platform first. So this is the class of tonight. So you can see there. And also we need to do the homework at 2.2. 2. In this one, we're going to click what will be the best option. So this is something that we checked already that is other and other things related to this word or another, right? You just click on the right option. And the second part is about capital letters. So you just click what will be the correct one, true or false. So there are t, uh, 10 questions. And then once you finish, that's it, okay? Good, we are gonna check about the attendance then, of course. So let's see, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Present. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. 
Good, perfect. Okay, uh, everybody's here, right? Yeah, all right. So we're gonna start tonight with a little, a little video. So I'm going to show you, and then you are going to tell me what you understood about this one, or comments, or what did you like about that one. Okay. So let me just check into that one. All right. Here we go. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you a little bit about why you should be restricting the number of decisions you need to make each day. Now, this is really quite simple. There is a, a real issue with something that's called decision fatigue. Now, we all know that Steve Jobs used to wear the same clothes every day, the black turtleneck sweater and the blue jeans and the New Balance trainers. Mark Zuckerberg is also famous for wearing the same grey t-shirt and jeans every day at work. Now, you might think this is a little bit eccentric from these two people, but actually there is a little bit of method in their madness. Throughout the day, we are faced with many, many decisions. One of the, one of the most classic examples are, what am I going to wear today? And another one might be, how am I going to get to work today? Am I going to take the bus or should I take the train or should I walk? You know, there are many, many, many decisions that we have to make. Classic ones are, what should I have for lunch today? Should I have a cappuccino or should I have a cappe latte? You know, many, many decisions that we're making throughout the day. And all that day, you are actually using energy in your brain to actually make those decisions. And this is why one of the reasons at the end of the day, it becomes very difficult to make the simplest of decisions is because your decision-making part of your brain has become fatigued. Now, this can really affect our productivity and it can seriously affect our decisions about what we're going to do the next day when we do our planning. And this is why it's really important to really restrict the number of decisions you need to make each day. Routines and habits can really help because you just automatically do those things. For example, I always have the same thing for breakfast every day. Now, for some people may say, well, that's really boring, but I'm not really a foodie, so I don't really care. I just have my two boiled eggs, my wholemeal toast and a banana, and that's fine for me. Of course, I always have my early morning cup of coffee too. For lunch, pretty much the same thing. Monday to Friday, I'm eating the same things. Dinner time, I eat the same thing Sunday to Thursday. Friday and Saturday, I do have a break and allow myself to eat whatever I want. Now, the, the reason I do this is, first of all, I'm not a foodie and I don't really care as long as I don't feel hungry, I'm happy. But secondly is, it's just one less decision or actually three less decisions I have to make each day. Another little trick that I do is I always decide what I'm going to wear the next day the night before. Because again, I don't want to be making the decision about what I'm going to wear. When I have a look at my calendar during my golden 10, I decide, okay, I need to be wearing more formal clothes like a suit because I'm going into the business district of Seoul. And I will just pull out the suit and the shirt and I'll just get everything ready. Likewise, when it comes to things like recording these YouTube videos, I've made the decision earlier in the week about what I'm going to record. Now, the decision about when to record is already in my calendar. I have a repeating event every Friday afternoon to record these videos. Another decision I don't have to make. And this whole thing about decision making is actually quite a really useful tip for you. Because if you can restrict the number of decisions you have to make each day, the more mental energy you're going to have at the end of the day to be able to make better decisions about what you're going to do the next day. Now, as I know that sounds like a bit of a contrast or contradictory, but what it really does help is when you sit down and do your golden 10. And to be honest with you, the golden 10 is a really important part of your day. For those of you who don't know, the golden 10 is the 10 minutes at the end of the day when you collect everything that you organize everything you've collected during the day and then you plan the next day. What two objectives are you going to get done the next day? And what other eight focus tasks are you going to try and get done the next day? And what this does is it means that you're always moving forward into the, your projects, your goals and everything else that's really important to you. 
Now, another reason why about restricting the number of decisions you have to make is this thing about the two objectives per day. Now, if you only have two things to choose to do to, per day, if you make the planning done the night before, when you wake up in the morning, the decision about what you're going to focus on during that day, the two objectives, has already been done for you. So you can start off and go, bang, I'm gonna hit that. You can leave the decision-making energy to other more important crises that happen during the day. And another reason, another way of reducing the decisions that you have to make each day is if you're faced with a long list on the projects and you're trying to decide what is the next task that I need to work on to get this project worked, a better question is when you look at a long list of tasks that you have to do within a project is sort of just say what which of these tasks would give me the most powerful impact on this project and particularly just pick out the two tasks that you would you could do that would move that project further forward faster than any of the other projects and really highlight those flag them highlight them whatever and make sure those are the two tasks that you do the next day that's another thing that you don't have to decide on because you've already made the decision. And it really does allow you to get through the day with a lot more mental energy. And it's just something that I learned a long time ago. And I really just wanted to share with you because I know that it works when you can find ways of reducing the number of decisions that you have to make each day. So just to sum up this in a way, choose the clothes that you want to wear the next day, the night before have the same breakfast every day or at least make a decision on what you're going to eat the next day before you, the next day. The other ones are make sure that you've got a clear plan, a clear objective of what you want to get done that next day so that you're not spending those kind of flaky afternoons when you're feeling a little bit down, a little bit lethargic the decisions have already been made. It's like bang, 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 bang. And you can get an enormous amount of work done so that at the end of the day, you still feel mentally fresh so you can plan the next day. It really does work and I hope that you'll get something from this little trick. Thank you very much for watching this Productivity Mastery Series. If you do have a question that you would like me to answer in this series, please just drop it in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer the questions for you in the video or just through the comments. Thank you very much for watching and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Okay, what did you get from this one? What do you think about the uh, advices that uh, the friend here, Carl Pauling, is providing? I, I think that it is important to get focus on the decision that you really need to make. I, I think the thing that I get tired of, get the fatigue in the brain or in the in the people is not not the decision itself, uh, but. The indecision, I don't know if it's correct indecision, but there is there is a reason for a, for the get tired when you can uh, take a decision about something that is uh, the, the problem. And uh, if you uh, spend time in uh, trivial things, in things that uh, are not important, you don't have energy for the important decisions. And for the reason that this guy, like Steve Jobs, even uh, uh, Albert Einstein, they use the same suit every day. Uh, no problem with that. And uh, uh, they are not thinking what uh, are he eating or something like that. They they focus, focus on the more important things. And that is a good advice for us. Okay, very good. Very interesting, right? That there are some decisions that are kind of easier if you simplify, if you have a method, uh, and then you just take care about the other things that you really need to think about. Very nice. Good. Any other comments or opinion on this?
Nobody else. Okay, there are many um many tips that we can find and how to be productive, how to be better, right? Sometimes, I mean, we have some habits. Some of those are very good. Some of those are not that very good. Sorry? Yeah. Um, I I think that he was talking in uh, he was talking about take some decisions, but those decisions could be planned plan, planned before. For example, what will you uh, breakfast tomorrow? If you plan plan, yeah, plan. Uh, if you plan the situation the day before. It will be easier to to make this decision the 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 actual day or the same day that you will uh, for example that you will uh, do this situation. So I, I think he's uh, obviously he's right because uh, at your at your work. Or in your job, uh, there are some decisions that if you have uh, the big picture or the whole picture about about a situation, uh, uh, and if you plan plan uh, the steps that you have to follow in order to to solve the situations, uh, it will be easier. But how could could you how could you watch or how could you see these these steps to solve this situation obviously a uh, planning or obviously thinking but planning what can you do in order to to solve the situation yeah so planning is one of the sorry is one of the situations that he was talking about if you plan the 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 things or or the situation that you have to solve, uh, the decisions at the right time will be uh, easier. Or maybe it it has or they have uh be decided before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. So yeah, I mean, uh, when you plan something, of course, it's because you want to organize yourself and you will make uh, things easier, right? So you you know what to do first and second. Uh, and it's very interesting his advice because yeah, there are some trivial, trivial like decisions that you have to make. Are important, of course, like food, right? What you are going to eat. Probably, I mean, for me, it's not a good idea to have the same lunch every every day i mean it's not good but if i decide where to buy what kind of food am i gonna get instead of walking around on the mall and thinking oh i don't know what to eat and seeing everything there i mean definitely it's going to be much better right the clothes definitely i do that one i mean every night i prepare all my clothes i know exactly what time i'm gonna leave in the morning so i arrive to my job on time things like that you can plan right you can research and plan and stop worrying about those things so you can yeah actually provide or give more energy in the or to the decisions that really really care the ones that really matter good perfect thank you juan miguel any other comments or videos Okay, so this is unit number two of the business plan. And it says I will be able to design a business plan for a startup company. Well, yeah, uh, I was telling you that we're going to learn how to do that one so, and we can practice English in that one. We are not going to design a business plan for a startup company. I mean, if you have the time and you want to do it, yeah, you can create something not that complicated. Uh, that is going to be not for this weekend, I mean, for this Friday, but for the next one. Okay, so you can download a, a business plan and present the business plan. Maybe you have to read it and check what is this about so you can present it, right? 
uh, it's just a matter for us to practice a little bit about this one. So, um, but we need to, yeah, understand a little bit more about what is this as we have been doing and we're going to continue on that right now. This is very really interesting. Uh, let's see. David, could you please help me reading this number one exercise? Yes, teacher. Let's start. Do you agree or disagree that part with the following? Yeah, please. Don't write a business plan, but still save time and don't write it. Everything changes too quickly. Don't plan more than a month ahead. Even then, don't plan that. Don't plan down to detail. Instead, simply write down what you want from the month financially and in other areas. Okay, so imagine that uh, you are you have a, a company and somebody says this kind of advice. I don't write a business plan, but it's still save time and don't write it. Everything changes too quickly, which is true. Don't plan more than a month ahead. I mean, even then, don't plan down to detail. Instead, simply write down what you want from the month financially and in other areas. What would you say to that person? It is uh, uh, not uh, thinking serious. It is true that everything changed, but the fundamental things are still there. There are no change. The vision, the mission, if you give or you offer a service, uh, you continue offering the service. Maybe the method, maybe the technology change. Uh, I think that was the problem with the train, the railroads in, in, in El Salvador and in Central America. They uh, when uh, appear the, the the other transportation means like cars like bus, the trains get over and put aside, and uh, then those, they don't think in, in the future, and uh, don't continue developing this uh, transportation. In in the present time, it will be helpful like in Europe and in other countries. And uh, the things change, but the, the fundamental things that we made uh, in many, many areas, in the army, in the uh, uh, mail, or the, the things important are still there. Okay. So definitely, I mean, uh, yeah, you will say politely, uh, no, right? So I I need to do this. It's important for me because, I mean, it's not only important because of what you are going to present and that you have there. Whenever you are building the business plan, sometimes you realize, sometimes you realize that something is missing, that you need to take care about certain things, that you need to create a procedure, uh, I mean, that happens. I mean, sometimes you have very good ideas and you have a lot of things, but whenever you put that together, you say, I I'm missing something here. Something's going on there, right? So that that helps you. I mean, not only having that to present to other people, but the way that you're going to think whenever you're building a business plan, definitely is going to be something that we really have to take in consideration. Good. Any other comment on what do you say or what do you think about this one? Do you disagree or do you agree on the uh, ad advice that I don't know who's providing this advice, but what do you think? Well, in my case, I totally disagree with this person that said that you don't have to take it in note uh, because every time is changing. But I guess that you have to take it in note um, because maybe that could cause that you lose money. So you need to be careful with that because if you want uh, to have a, a good business or a profitable business, uh, you need to take uh, those notes to review it and uh, found where is the, the leak where you are uh, losing that money. Definitely. So, so yeah. Uh -huh. uh, in my in my job, I learned that that 
because we work with a forecast. So we need to check the historical information to, to know um, how the month will be and something like that. So we need to take a, a dose note in this case, we only uh, make uh, some research on the uh, computer to, to find out the information. So Definitely. in my case, uh -huh. uh, is fundamental as David said. Uh, definitely. So actually, actually, that's what I was going to say. I mean, it's going to help you, even if you are in a dynamic world, in a dynamic mm -hmm. business, uh, sometimes it's very important to compare, right? You are changing, you are changing the business plan every year, but then maybe by any reason, you have to go and analyze where were you five years ago, two years ago, one year ago, and where are you right now? So, and then you will be able to take decisions about that. Historical information is very important. And this definitely is going to help you because this is the core of the business. So if you have something that is very well done and you just continue adapting that to the changes that happens in the world, I mean, you are going to have a very good company and you will be able to take a better decision. Perfect, thank you. Any other comments or opinion? To write a plan just for a month ahead, I think it's a suicide because <laughs> you are not writing the your highway. Uh, let's say if you think that your entrepreneurship just will last one month, it's okay. But if you think uh, and look forward to stay and live and your incomes comes from uh, your entrepreneurship, you must think, you must plan for day one to 10 years and above. If things don't come up or things don't show up as you plan, it's good to have like a, a like a role, like a way where you know you can go. And of course, there could, could be there could happen could happen changes, but mm, having a plan doesn't make you to as we've mentioned before, it doesn't make you to lose money because you switch. 360 degrees your original plan and at the end at the beginning maybe maybe you were thinking in selling I don't know a, a good a, a food maybe and at the end you uh, move and is to make a three six 360 degree and at the end you are selling tires it's like just as an example uh, because you don't know where the north is. I think it's suicide just to make a plan for sure, for a short period. So yeah, definitely, that is not good, right? I mean, in, besides everything that you mentioned, in mind, I mean, the, the person here says, um, don't do it because you are going to save time. But if you do it every month, I mean, you are going to spend time every month updating mm -hmm. that one. Yeah, I mean. It doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you are so right. Very good. Perfect. That's nice. Let's move on. So uh, some of these, you know, and some of the other one, I believe that you will be able to uh, rationate what will be that one. So executive summary. What is that? Do you remember? Maybe it could be a summary that is not exceed one page when the, where you are explaining or presenting your idea, but in a very, very uh, re resumed way. Yeah, for example, uh, your idea could be in a business plan around 10 pages, but uh, this executive su summary uh, must be prepared in order that uh, the person who read it, who reads it uh, could understand all of your business, uh, for example, in one minute, at least, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Very well. So yes, I mean, the executive summary, uh, well, you remember that we were discussing about that one yesterday, I guess. Yes, yesterday, right? Uh, okay, what do you remember about what we discussed yesterday? Because yes, it can be like a summary about everything, but you remember that this is the very first part that comes into the business plan and that presents certain information. What is the information that we present in the executive summary? Do you remember that? Uh -huh. Nobody. Yeah, it's I, going I to. I don't remember, but I think is uh, what product or services or what are the uh, production or what are the. Uh, possibility in a financial way, something like that. Okay, so yeah, there were some other parts of the uh, business plan. At this point, um, as we discussed yesterday, yes, it's like a summary because it's presenting like the mission, the vision, the objectives. You can mention the product, you can, it's like an introduction for the company, right? So it's going to be like, we are here, this is what we are, um, this is the history certain things right? and then you move on sometimes with the product sometimes actually the other one is it was the market market analysis that is actually the one that is there this the unique selling proposition is the same is the market analysis so the question is what is the unique selling proposition do you know do you remember what is that is that uh, that makes uh, the different uh, the no is that things that makes different your business than your competitors because uh, you need to uh, be clear what is your uh, idea so you need to develop that idea and you create uh, uh, maybe like a um, like a barrier barrier yeah uh, because you need to uh, support your, 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 your business or your um, business plan according uh, according to what do you want to, 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 to get so it's important to uh, have a uh, a clear idea and create a unique selling proposition because uh, you need to be focused on that. Okay, very good. So that is it. I mean, something unique, right? That is going to be different. It's just you, like, like we are unique, right? I mean, I know that we are Salvadorian, we have kind of the same routine sometimes, but we are unique. Very good. And what, what will be then competitive analysis? What will be that? When you uh, uh, maybe search uh, for a kind of information of your competitors. Okay, very good. So you compare yourself, right? And you say, okay, I'm going to change this. I'm going to improve this, something like that. The other one is financial analysis. Um, that one is a kind of easy. What is that? The cost. Yeah, I mean, cost, some rates, right? Some uh, uh, statements. Projections, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, Project. Very good. So, so uh, where are you and what would you like to be? That will be, it, right? In in money, money-wise, uh, which is one of the most important parts. Nice, very good. Uh, these are things that we're going to check later on. And uh, well, funding requests, what is that? It's how you get the phone for for the project, for the company you're planning. If you are uh, a, getting a loan for an van or if you are um, a some venture capital or something like that. Very good. So yeah, it's the way that you are going to get the funds, the money 
um, maybe our savings are not good enough, right? So we need to go and present to a company, to a person, and they will decide. Question in this part, what is the tool that you are going to use for you to request the funding? The budget, it is the, the main thing you need. Budget is very important, definitely. Because Business plan in general. For example, if you are asking in a bank for a, a bank, uh, what's that? Uh, bank financial, right? Uh, you need to be, uh, you, you need to ask with a business plan and you need to develop the, the project. So you need to sell your idea to them and they then uh, will decide if you are, if you can apply or not uh, uh, financial. Very good. So that is it. I mean, uh, the tool that you are going to use for you to request funding definitely is the business plan. The whole thing, because the bank or the company or the person that is going to give you the money, they want to know everything. I mean, what is the mission, the vision, what, where are you right now? Where would you like to be? What is the products or services that you are going to be producing? And that is a very important thing. So, of course, it's going to be the whole thing. Okay, operations and management plan. What is that? This is a way that uh, your business will operate and how to be the duration of the procedure and uh, all of the tools that you are selling or service you are giving. And uh, the reason is uh, uh, how the company will work in every field, in every department, in every section of the uh, organization. Definitely. So that is like a plan about the way that everything is going to be produced. Uh, everything, not only the production itself, but the way uh, or how you are going to get the raw material, who are going to be your providers, um, how you are going to distribute the goods to the market or to the con consumers. So definitely that is something very important. Uh, next one says flourish. Aha, uh -huh, what's that? Maybe it's the first when a, bis when a business uh, or, or when a company have um, the, I don't know, maybe utilities and get the best way to develop the idea and everything is okay? Okay, yes, yeah, some like that one, right? Like so a negocio en marcha, how do you say that, right? Yeah, the business ongoing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some like that. So flourish is the way that you are going to produce. I mean, you are going to invest time and money and at the end, you are going to have a profit, right? So uh, that will be it. Blueprint. That is an easy one, I guess. What is blueprint? Anybody can look for that and tell us. Has anybody looked into that? Okay, this uh, the main route, uh, the main uh, the procedure, the uh, the guide step by step that uh, let you identify your business need, your goals, and uh, what is the strategic plan, the, the mission, vision, values, and something like that. That is uh, the essential of the 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 framework, the, the the central part of the how the company will work. It's something that actually the blueprint is like like a roadmap. Very yes, good. something like that. 
like a roadmap. That would be it. So then, yeah, you have like the procedure, right? That you start here. If that happens, you move there. If that happens, you move to the other way. And then there are many other procedures and tasks that are going to be included. So, of course, that is something very important, not only for the business plan, but if you don't design that one, I mean, you won't be able to operate, right? So, it's something very, very important. Okay, I know that you like grammar a lot. So, here we are. Is this is very easy how to use common expressions with other okay it says look at the examples in the box then complete the exercises below uh let's see who's gonna read uh, uh, um. uh luis albert could you please help me reading the chart no teacher um I mean, please. Okay. Um, use one and other, it's other as pronouns that express a reciprocal, reciprocal relationship. Letter A, my associate has helped each other build the marketing strategy section of the business plan. And letter B, it's, uh, it's not surprising that sales and cost give a close relationship with one another. There, see, my associate and I have known each other for 12 years. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, is it fair to say we really know how to work together? Uh, please continue. Uh, not, be careful not to use each other. The office environment suppliers have reported have help and it's other get the appointment we need for our project to get started and use every other and as an advert to express that action take place in an alternative alternate manner Letter a my partners just we pay a long consult to come every other day to revise points related to licensing and trademark. There be a business plan is not a document written on stamp. It's advisable to update in every other quarter. And use one after the other, one after another, as an adverb which express the idea or sequence and that several separate actions occur in a series. And there are eight, it is essential to design the different section of the business plan, one after the other to access its coins and identify travel, travel some section. There are B, once your marketing strategy is implemented, uh, be sure to launch the promotion activities one after another. Very good. So uh, some of these we checked already. Some of those are very easy. So let's check one by one. Uh, we're going to use one another or each other as pronouns. Pronouns. Remember that one. So instead of the name uh, that express a reciprocal relationship. So I help you and you help me. I give you and you give me reciprocal, right? So that would be the first rule, okay? So my associates have helped each other build the marketing strategy section of the business plan. So they help each other, meaning that everybody's helping me. It is not surprising that sales and costs keep a close relationship with one another. So you can use each other or one another. They are interchangeable. Uh, both kind of the same. It's actually more common to use each other, but one another is perfectly fine. My associate and I have known each other for 12 years. It is fair to say we really know how to work together. Huh? Together, right? In a okay. reciprocal way. So there is a note. This is something that we checked already. Be careful not to use each other's. No plurals here, because this is a pronoun. Do you remember? 
that when we were speaking about this as a pronoun, we are not going to use plural here. So in this case, it has to be um, each other only. For example, the office equipment supplies have helped. Here it says each others, no plural here. It has to be each other. Each other get the equipment we need for our project to get started. So that is a clarification that is needed here. Okay. Then we say uh, we have the other one that says use every other as an adverb to express that action that takes place uh, in an alternative manner. So my partner suggested we pay a law consultant to come every other day. This is the most common, every other day. So it's al alternative. It's, it's, I mean, it's going to be one yes, one no. So for example, if I say we're going to do a test every other day, it means that one yes, one day, yes, we're going to do a test. The other day, we are not going to do it. The other one, yes. The other one, no. So it's alternate. Okay, it's going to be changing uh, the order, let's say. So um, I will read that again. My partner suggested we pay a law consultant to come every other day to revise points related to licensing and trademark. So yeah, not every day, right? And uh, a business plan is not a document written or stunt. It is advisable to update it every other quarter. So as you can see, you can use that with any time expression, every other week, every other month, every other year, every other decade. So yeah, it's interchangeable, uh, but it's important and understandable on that one. So it's not going to be in a sequence, not every day, but one just one now. And the other one says, use one after the other, one after another, as an adverb which expresses the idea of sequence. This is the key here, sequence. So step number one, step number two, step number three. So a sequence. And that several or separate actions occur in a series, in order. Okay, first goes this, and then after the other, okay. It is essential to design the different sections of the business plan one after the other to assess its coherence and identify troublesome sections. So what it says here that it's essential to design the different sections of the business plan in order. First, what is the first, do you remember? The first section of the business plan. Okay, it is going to be the executive resume. Uh, the, yeah, that one, the executive summary. So, and, uh, well, in this case, it's going to be not that the last one or the second one or the third one. It has to be the first one. So, one after the other in a series. Once uh, your marketing strategy is implemented, be sure to launch the promotion activities one after another in order again, in a series, organized. So, that is very important. So, we have three different things here. One another or each other. And the other one is every other. And the other one is one after the other or one after another. Do you have any questions here? The first ones are pronouns. The second and the third ones are other. Uh, yeah. Okay. Other, yeah. That is it. Any other question? Okay, yeah, what is interesting, and I believe that you know this already, is that, uh, I mean, I understand that you really get on the classes, but uh, it's important that you try to use it, okay? And uh, one advice that I can tell you is that whenever you learn something new, try to use it. I mean, think about that one, create a presentation, a speech, or anything like that, and implement that one. And that way, you will never forget uh, sometimes happens that, yeah, we learn something, but in a month, we don't remember how that is possible to be used to ourselves. It's very important for us to, to practice, okay? Practice in English is a very important thing. Okay, let's see if that is true. Number six, choose the best expression to complete the statements below. 
And then we're going to compare, of course, we are going to compare. So there are six and there are three options on each and there is a blank. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to read about this, check the options, and then we're going to compare, okay? Let's see how it goes.
Okay, have you finished already or do you need a couple of more minutes? I think I finished it, sir. I finished it, sir. Okay, let's check together. So, who wants to share number one? It's me. Okay, you mm saw. -hmm. Okay, the business description section should present a click a clear picture of how the mission, the vision, the value proposition, and other the elements of your business fit well with each other. Very good. With each other. Nice. Perfect. So number two, who wants to share number two? Me, teacher. Okay, let's listen to David. I kept on calling every other hour to my lawyer's office because I want to ask some questions about the legal aspect of my business idea, but I haven't been able to reach him. Very good. That is it. I kept on calling on every other hour. Every other hour. Very good. Nice. Number three, what is going to be that? Me? Okay. A, this tip suggests entrepreneurs should hire a specialist to write their business. Isn't the entrepreneur the most appropriate person to write it since he knows the essential information about the business? Oh, I'm, it was a question. I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't okay. the entrepreneur the most appropriate person to write it since he knows the essential information about the business? B, since the specialists write the business plans one after another, they are really knowledgeable. Very good. One after another. Nice. Number four. Who wants to share number four? Me, teacher. Okay. Ed hired a consultant to help him to do the paperwork to register the company. They go over the progress of the process every every other day perfect every other day number five who wants to share number five anybody me teacher okay go ahead in case legal action is started against a limited liability company, the plaintiff can go only after the business assets and not the personal assets because they are kept separated from each other. Good, each other, perfect, that's the one. Okay, uh, I have a question on this one. I guess uh, everything is fine and since this is, um, speaking about legal words there is a word that i want to check it for example the first one says limited liability company that is llc now you understand what is that one right so uh, it's limited not unlimited meaning that um, if whenever they create the company if they have to pay something uh, the bank is not going to take your personal things okay but when you use unlimited i mean that is a problem right because the bank can come for everything that you owe in your house. <laughs> Not good. But the good thing is that, I mean, there are some benefits on the other hand, right? Because uh, the way that you are going to distribute the profit and many other things is going to be different. And the other question that I have here is a uh, plaintiff. Anybody knows what plaintiff means? I don't know, but I think it's something that uh, like the government of the treasury department or something like that that are uh, following the the ban rule or something like that. <laughs> okay. Mm, it's the person that start the legal process, like the like the, the, I don't know the person that put the demand demand. 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 Uh -huh. Demand. Uh -huh. Yeah, actually, that is it. it. This is a very, I mean, whenever we find words that are um, difficult to explain, I guess it's good to say it in Spanish because, yeah, I mean, you need to know exactly what it is because there is only one word for that one. So in this case, it will be like when you say in Spanish, uh -huh, Irena, you're going to say, right? Yeah, como el demandante. Very good. El demandante, el querellante, some like that one, right? So... 
Uh, and that is specific because it's a very technical word. So it's, it's only that one, right? So very good. Uh, business asset, I guess that is it. Number six, who wants to share a number six? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. The growth strategy of your business plan to reflect, so increase in sales at least every other quarter. At least every other quarter. Yeah, I mean, that is for sure. Sometimes it's difficult, right? So whenever we are in a recession or when the economy uh, is not growing the way that we want, um, it's not our fault. And then the, the companies, they have to, uh, I mean, understand that it's not possible. But that is the purpose, right? Not only earn money, get some profit, but to grow that profit. So definitely something very interesting. Good, perfect. Do you have any question here? No, teacher, no questions. Very good. Uh, we're not going to check that yet, but let's go then to the presentation. Okay. Types of business plan. Let's see how it goes. We're going to check some more information about the business plan. Remember that this is going to be not for this Friday, but for the next. The next Friday, I guess, because next one you will be on the beach, I guess. All right, types of business plans. Let's see. Uh, Dora Elizabeth, will you please help me read in this paragraph? Type a business plan. Business plan helps companies identify their objectives and remain on track to meet goals. They can help companies start, manage themselves, and grow once and up running, running. And they also add a means to attract lenders and investors. Although there is no right or wrong business plan, they can fall into two different categories, traditional or lean startup. According to the Small Business Administration, the traditional business plan is the most common one. It's a, it contains a lot of details in each section, this tends to be longer than the lean startup plan and require more work. What did you understand on this one? And uh, I think the business plan uh, have a, a objectives and goals, and. To uh, the business plan is not bad and it's not bad. Uh, uh, there are uh, different categories, like uh, this in traditional or land startup. Uh, I, this is. I understand. Okay, very good, perfect. So, yeah, there are different types of business plans. I mean, it's not just a template and that's it, right? Depending on what you want to present, the impact that you are going to uh, try to achieve in the presentation, this is going to be something that you need to decide, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, we need to be able to identify objectives and remain on track uh, to meet goals. Uh, first question. Uh, what is the difference between objectives and goals? I think sometimes it could be the same, but an objective is something more in a more general way. You put an objective that I have no specific quantity, it's not maybe it's not measurable. Maybe is uh, not uh, defined in time, but uh, you can divide an objective in uh, different goals. And every goal have a, a specific, have a time, 
have a, a button in the date, uh, the end date, and you need to get that that goal. And uh, I think uh, one of the team could uh, be separated in many calls. Mm, interesting. You mentioned one word that was very important. Anybody else has a, uh, an idea on the difference between objectives? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Maybe the time teacher. I think that the goal is uh, take more time to to achieve the goal, and maybe the objective is like shorter. You put like uh, I have this objective and I want to achieve that in this in this time, and maybe mm -hmm. I don't know the objective is measurable, or maybe you can set a goal and you can um and you can. Or yeah, you can like like set an objective into that goal, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you, just now. Uh, I have you... oh, go ahead. I think teacher the objective is part of the goals because for reach a goals you, you can follow uh, various objectives for for reach. Okay, interesting. So the other way, the other way around, objectives inside of the goals. Very good, perfect. Anybody else's? The objectives are the way to get the goals in future. Okay, very interesting, very good. You know, everybody is kind of right, depending on the way that you are going to write the objective or, or the goal. Um, the main difference actually is very simple. The objectives are qualitative and the um, goals are quantitative. So when you say objective, for example, an objective can be um, to be a better man and understand people and be more empathetic. So it's our qualities that you are going to try to achieve, right? Uh, but the goal, I mean, I mean, it could be like, I don't know, to be married when I get 60, I don't know. So there is a number there that is going to provide you to achieve the 60% of improvement of whatever, right? So that is going to be the main difference. And yes, the, sometimes, definitely they are related. They are related. Sometimes one is inside of the other. It can be one or the other way, uh, but they are definitely related. So it's going to be something like that. Um, and it says here that we have two kinds of, or two types of business plans. So we have the uh, traditional, that is the one that we know, the one that we were discussing, or the Lean Startup. Startup tells you that these companies, they sometimes don't have certain information, right? So it's not possible to present, for example, historical information, or it's not possible to present a statements, a financial statement from previous um, periods because they simply don't exist. So that would be it. Let's move on. Ah, here is the other one. Um, Fernando Marvin, please help me reading this one. Uh, Lean Startup Businessman. On the other hand, use an abbreviated structure that highlight, highlights key, key elements. These business plans aren't as common in the business world because they short as short as one page and lack detail. If a company uses this kind of plan, it should be prepared to provide more detail if an investor or lender requests it. Okay, what do you get from this one? Uh, it's a, a link star business plan. Uh, I don't remember how, I don't remember what mean lean, but I understand because it's a plan in one page, so it, it's very short and not contains all the detail that the other the other business plan that, that we saw in the first page. And maybe it's, it's, it's a good idea to use, use this kind of plan when you only need, um, need to provide a, a fast vision of your company. Because like the paragraph, like the paragraph says, if if you if you want to attract investor, maybe you you need to do a more detailed business plan. 
Okay, very good. So definitely, right? It's interesting because, yeah, I mean, depending on what you want to present or what company do you have, you can choose one or the other one. Um, the most common definitely is the traditional, the one that is going to provide all the information because it's what you want to show, right? In the document or the presentation, you want to show graphics, you want to show numbers, you want to show statements, and yeah, some words that are going to, uh, even when you don't present that the per the people that read the document will be able to understand. In this one, Lean Startup is like, I mean, Lean is like that one. Lean is that you don't have to do a lot, just what is necessary, the key points on, on the things. So yeah, you are going to present only the most important. I mean, we want this, we have this, we want to achieve this other thing. So the problem is that one. I mean, if you present something like that, then you need to speak more, right? You need to uh, explain in different ways what is going to contain this one. And the other, uh, I mean, you just read, explain a little bit and move on. So that would be it. One page, I believe is too short. Maybe three, five pages uh, is good, depending on the size of the company. Um, question for you. What do you believe is the best type for you to present here in the class? Uh, Teacher, what is the name of the other plan? Traditional. The traditional, yeah. Okay, so what do you think is the best one for you to present for the class? Not this Friday, but the next, next Friday, right? Which for one? our homework. This is uh, so the like, startup business plan is the best because we only we only need percent uh key element of our idea. Okay, very good. Yeah, probably this one is good, right? Because two things. The first thing is that I mean it's not going to be true, right? I mean it's going to be something that we are going to invent or download. The second thing, I mean, I mean, if there are a lot of graphics, probably people, because everybody's going to have questions, of course, right? So whenever you ask questions, why this is bigger than this one? And you will say, I don't know. I just don't know. I, I cannot tell you, right? Uh, and another thing is that link, I mean, if you check onto this one, on the link one, you don't present that much, but you speak a lot. And that's what we want here in the class, that you start explaining, ah, here is this, because, you know, when I was eight years old, I was dreaming. I don't know, whatever you want to say. If, of course, it's just an exercise and it's not going to be true, we're going to pretend, right? And we are going to pretend that we are in a bank and we are going to ask questions as well. But it's just a practice, okay? So, Ling, I believe, is good enough. Uh, three, five slides, pages. If you download something, it will be good. If you create something, if you really want to create something and practice that, you can do it. Not that long, okay? Uh, and of course, you are free. If you say, I'm going to present a very good business plan of 20 pages, you're free to do it. I mean, we're going to listen to you. Uh, but I believe this is good enough. Good enough, okay? Okay. Special considerations whenever we are creating a business plan, uh, Giselle. Okay, special considerations. Financial projections. A complete business plan must include a set of financial projections for the business. These forward-looking financial statements are often called pro forma financial statements or simply the pro formas. They include an overall budget, current and projected financing needs, a market analysis, and the company's marketing strategy. Okay, now in your own words. <laughs> um, maybe in the financial projections, you you only present like the the key points of the of the financial part like the the big ones you know for example the projections are very important because you want to know when you when you are going to 
to to get the the your in in the invest the in, oh my god I forgot la inversión investment investment and mm, mm, the budget honorable budget I think that is like the yeah I think that is like the the big ones like the 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 more most important keys of the financial area that are gonna show you like the the big picture of the financial part okay very good perfect so uh, yes it's going to be something like that one right so um and the financial projections you are going to present um i mean forward-looking financial statements okay and you are going to include of course a budget because the budget is what you want to to get for you to spend right uh, it's important to present current and projected needs so right now we are like this and we if you give me the money or if we have the money or if we produce this goods in one year when we're going to be like this so and those the ones that we are going to present as the future one the um forward looking uh, they are called pro formas so i believe that that friday that is going to be very special if i say to you if i ask you hey do you have any pro formas you will know what i'm talking about right you will say i don't know i didn't find any or i mean you can say anything the only thing that you cannot say is i don't know what is that okay so that's why it's, it, this is very interesting because we are getting uh some names some uh, little things in english that we we should know already in spanish but uh, in english is kind of different for example the general balance or the uh, uh, profits and losses statements i mean some ratios like some uh, percentages that we are going to use to measure things in this part are going to be like technical words that we are going to to find of course we are not going to go very in detail even if you find a, a large statement we're not going to go and check everything in deep right but yeah in general those are going to be very good good so let's continue the next one is going to be for uh roxana Yvette. <clears throat> other considerations for business plan a middle reason for a business plan is to give owners a clear picture of attitudes, goals, resources, potential costs, and drawbacks of certain business decisions. A business plan show sorry, a business plan should help them modify their structures before implementing their ideas. It also allows owners to project the type of financial requirements to get their business up and running. If there are any especially interesting aspects of the business, they should be high, highlight, highlight and used to attract finan financing if needed. For example, Tesla Motors, electric car business essential began only has a business plan. Perfect. What do you get on this one? Uh, in general, uh, it's important to uh, be clear uh, with uh, the idea. So um, about everything, about uh, what do you what do you have to to start your business and what do you need? And you need to be honest with with you or with your team if you need a financial at the end, because uh, maybe some uh, entrepreneurship they have maybe they have a, a, or they have some resources, but it's not enough. You need to be clear. What do you have and what do you need? Because uh, that is uh, the main idea to establish uh, goals and objectives. 
about all your business plan, about uh, your uh, two calls, about uh, your operation in general. Uh, okay, very good. So yes, I mean, it's very important to, to present a clear picture. It doesn't matter if you do something very large or something very small. Uh, yeah, you need to understand everything, like the soul, like everything that has to to be done or what you want to do uh, in your business. Uh, in my end, that Tesla Motors electric car business at the beginning was only that one, only a business plan. I mean, they presented the business plan. Of course, they researched, they did lots of things and it became a very large company. Of course, they got the resources on that one, right? But... I mean, if you create this one and you know what you're doing, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't I don't see why the business is not going to be successful. Uh, that is one of the reasons why some companies in El Salvador, it, does, it doesn't succeed, right? Because, I mean, they just say, I'm going to open a, a, a business. And I have this idea, maybe the idea is fine. I mean... But if you don't go through the steps and, and check about the cost, the competency, the marketing, all these things, I mean, it's not only to open a business and wait for the customers to come, right? You need to do something. I mean, it's strategy. I mean, sometimes the place where you are going to open the, the business is very important. If it's not that open, you need to go and do marketing. Uh, I mean, everything is essential. I really believe that if businesses or entrepreneurs here in El Salvador, they do a business plan, definitely they they might succeed. I mean, because they will be able to, before run the business, understand what they need, what they really need to do, what they really need to have so everything goes well. They get the resources, I mean, the ideas. That is a very important thing. So, But just open a, a business, even if, your product is a very good one. Yeah, the the probability that it's going to fail, yeah, definitely it's going to be very high, very high. Good. Any questions so far? No questions. Uh, okay, so the next one is going to be for uh, Jose Osmin. Not possible. Oh, say Wilfredo. Okay, sure. Uh, and so, importantly, a business plan should, shouldn't be a static document as a business grows and change. Uh, so to show the business plan an annual review on the company and its plans allows an entrepreneur or a group of owners to update the plan based on success, successes, 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 yeah. uh, setbacks, and other new information. It provides an opportunity to size up the plan's ability to help the company grow. Think of the business plan as a living document, living document uh, that involves with your business. Good. And this is something like historically, historical information, because it uh, helped your business uh, grow up uh, accordingly one success, one success that happened in the past. So maybe uh, it's really important or could be like fundamental for each uh, business because allowing you know exactly uh, what's going on if you if you uh, wants to improve one mistake that you made in the past so very that good is... that is it i mean uh, as we discussed before and this is like the the importance here i mean this is something that is going to have life, right? So you are going to be able to change it, to adapt it, to review, check about what worked well and what didn't. 
and then change it. And that happened. I mean, I don't really have you seen the uh, the um, the news and Disney, for example, they are changing. I mean, they fire somebody here, they hire another person. For example, for Marvel Television, they uh, they are changing. They are cancel some projects because they are thinking more in quality. Uh, that that comes from this one, from a business plan. Okay, uh, that happens a lot. Sometimes, uh, and speaking about television as well, uh, Star Wars. I mean, when they created the last three movies, they make a, a huge mistake. It was not thought for the fans. It was thought by people like the managers, like general managers, that they were thinking about money, not about the fans. So that's why it failed. I mean, imagine if Disney, that is a conglomerate, a huge company of billions of dollars, if they do mistakes and they need a business plan so they can accommodate things and they say, stop, let's wait. Now, this is not working. We need to go in and change things, right? So, I mean, that shows you how important is the business plan. Because, yeah, you need to stop and think, yeah, we made mistakes. I mean, uh, sometimes we see people there on the top of the businesses. But they are human. I mean, they they do lots of mistakes. And that happens in our companies as well, right? I, I'm very sure that sometimes... You go to a meeting and they say, we are going to do this. And you say, what? I mean, that's not good. Because you are there sometimes working and you know more than they. But they are the ones who take decisions. And maybe in one year, they are going to say, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. We need to go back to the way that we did. So it's interesting. It's interesting how this actually helps company in a very, very huge way. Good, good, good. Let's move on then. This is a very important question. Why do business plans fail? And Juan Miguel wants to tell us why. Okay, teacher. Why do business plans fail? Even if you have a good business plan, your company can still fail, especially if you do not, if you do not stick to the plan. Having a strong leadership with focus on the plan is always a good strategy. Even when following the plan, if you have poor, poor assumptions going into your projections, you can be caught with cash flow short, shortage and out of control budgets. Markets and the economy can also change without flexibility built into your business plan. <clears throat> Sorry, you may be unable to pivot or pivot? Pivot. To, to pivot to a new course as needed. Hey, your words. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, why plans fail, business plans fail? There are many reasons, yeah, but in the lecture we have uh, some situations that uh, could make us redirect uh, in any in uh, or by any kind of situation to another or to other uh, way. Yeah, but you have or your business plan must be uh, the how to say this. Um, flexible, yeah, flexible in order to uh, to change, having a um, all the situations are around that surrounds you. For example, uh, the pandemic situation, the economy situation, whatever. So, but if you don't have this kind of flexibility, you can fail because you don't change with uh, with the course of the of those uh, external situations. Yeah. In uh, I 
I, I think I was talking about the 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 Friday about pivot pivot I think pivot startups or something like this or or we were talking about this and what what are those uh, are those uh, startups that they are so flexible that they can change from one uh, type yeah of business from another taking uh taking advantage yeah about the the economy about many kind of situations that surrounds the uh, uh, the society yeah so for for me business plans fail in my case because i i had this this kind of situation a couple of years ago because i cannot or i could not uh I could not be so flexible in order to take in considerations the situations that my clients demand to my to my business. Yeah, so at the end, I had to close. I have many loss of of goods and cash, and it it was so hard. And obviously, this situation is one of the situations in your life that you don't want to, to lose. Yeah, because you have a dream, you have a many uh, situations there. Uh, obviously, one of them, the money. <laughs> and all many situations uh, that could um, depend about this this business yeah so many dreams were were uh, broken uh, and for me you have uh, to be the more flexible in order to not lose your business obviously not lose your money and try to adapt yeah in every kind of situation if you start for example, to selling uh, pupusas, but your clients are demand you to do pastelitos, the carne. Yeah, so you have to uh, to maybe to follow this way. Yeah, because they are demanding to you that what what are they want? Is is not only what do you want? Yeah, because at the end the clients made that you that your business will be uh okay or could be lost yeah that's my opinion very good perfect so yeah you are very right sometimes uh that happens if you're not flexible enough if you don't listen if you don't pay attention and then you don't change and adapt to the need i mean definitely that is going to cause an impact uh, also, I mean, speaking about, imagine that, imagine that you create a business plan before, before you run the business. Uh, yes, I mean, you might say, but I made a business plan. Why the business is not running very well? The main cause is the one that it says there, poor assumptions. So you don't do the real research. You didn't do the math, right? You thought that was going to be like this. You believed uh, and sometimes you are too optimistic and you say, yes, I'm going to do this and this other thing. Uh, and that is not very right. So we need to really, really put your feet on the ground, check reality, and then move on into that one. Uh, if you have false expectations here, if you lie to yourself, I mean, definitely it's not going to work, right? So, uh, and... Then, if this is not working, definitely you need to be flexible. You need to adapt yourself to what people are looking to get. Good. Any question before we move on? No, in my side. 
Nice. So let's continue with free practices. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's speak all together now uh, because um, we have moved a lot. We have advanced a lot and there are going to be a lot of spaces for us to speak. So what do we talk about? Let's talk about movies. What is your favorite movie and why? Why do you believe that is a very good movie? that you recommend to us to, to watch it. Who wants to say the first one? I, I like uh, this, this series of uh, the mentalist because uh, the guy was a, a thinking man and they can uh, uh, see things that, that no other people can see. And I think that is important. There are some fiction, but uh, many of the scenes uh, are real, are real. And, and it's an, an old uh, series, but uh, I think it's, it's good. You can uh, learn many things about the, the body language and uh, about uh, how you can uh, 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 know something of uh, what are the people thinking or oh, many things that uh, you can learn from that uh, kind of movies that uh, I, I like the, the the scripts of this movie because they always surprise surprise you not the time of movie that you at the beginning of the movie you know what is the end but this movie always uh, presents a, a, a new situation, a, a new a conflict, a new solving path. Uh, and it, it's interesting for me. Okay, very good. Yeah, I, I saw like two seasons on that one, and it was a very good thing. Uh, he It was interesting because he saw some things that were kind of logical, right? Details. But sometimes we don't see those details, right? It's like, it's very obvious, but we don't pay attention to that one. So that happens and that happens in real life. I mean, for example, if you are on the bus and and some thieves come into the, into the bus, if you pay attention, you know that they are thieves, right? You know that something bad is going to happen and you need to run away. But sometimes we don't pay attention. And then they say, give me your cell phone. And we are like, oh my goodness, what is this? So details are important. And yeah, that makes a very good show. I never saw the end. I don't know what happened with there was an assassin, right? The red, red song. Red John. Ah, uh, yeah, Red John. Red John, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Maybe yes. they, maybe they, so. they 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 catch him. Ah, they, okay. uh, this guy <laughs> get a, a group of six that was the, the possible, the possible murder and a uh, Finally, he could uh, guess who was that guy and could uh, shoot him. And <laughs> that, but then finally, he get married with the the, the famous Lisbon. <laughs> really? The girl. Yes, yes. <laughs> they get God. married. That was the end. And the last part of the, of, the, of the series. It was a good series. Yeah, I never saw the rest. I guess I won't see it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so very good. Very nice. Yeah, maybe I, I can see because it was very interesting. Very good. Good. Who wants to share best movie or TV show? In my case, the best movie, cool. one of my best movie is Pursuit of Happiness. Because uh show you a lot of things that maybe uh, for one uh, side, uh, show us that the love of the father to his son is so strong that uh, that make you do something incredible because uh, he make uh, he makes uh, a lot of things just because once that his son uh, has something good for the for the rest of the life and in the other hand uh teach you that you have to follow your dreams 
and you have to do whatever what you have to do uh, just to to achieve it. So for me, it's really good. Yeah, that is one of my favorites as well. You know, uh, many things. The first one is that yeah. that was teach a lot, a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, so it, I, I share it right now just a just a little. Yeah, yeah, I mean that is so true, and yeah, it was based in real life. So, I mean, when you yeah. realize on that one, you you think, I mean, that happened actually, right? Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, that, way. that happened a lot and every yeah. day. That is true. Every day, some people they lost everything. Yeah. Right? Yep. And they need to fight. And sometimes, not all the time, if they fight for what they are looking for, they they get to that one. I really remember when he says, This part of my life, this is happiness, right? Yeah. So he I mean, and another thing that I really liked, I know that uh, many women they fight for the kids and things and like that one, but this percent the other side, right? That is yeah. not that common in, in the movies and men. I mean, we are. But happen. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, it we happened, fight happened. for kids, maybe not in the same way as mother, but sometimes mm -hmm. we fight a lot. So, yeah. yeah, it's a it's a very good thing. It was very good. Yeah, nice, perfect. Thank you. And in, in, in that guy came to El Salvador. Chris Gardner, Chris Gardner came twice, twice to El Salvador and gave a speech and some of the of the. His life it's, it's important because uh, he can uh, overcome many obstacles. And uh, there is a, a special part that uh, showed me what uh, they was in jail. They were in jail and they need to go to an interview. And they don't uh, take the opportunity to get a church. And what do you think if I came to an interview, to a job interview without chair? And I hired the, uh, the, that man. What do you think? Uh, the, the answer of the guy is, uh, is so good. I think that uh, this guy needs to have a nice pants that you have to hire them. Uh, that, that is important. Uh, don't, don't lose the enthusiasm, don't lose the vision, don't lose. And uh, when uh, he says to her son, to his son, don't let anybody say to you that you can do something. Don't let any anybody can can tell you that you can do it something that is important. Very true. Yeah, that part is a very good one, I remember. And it's good because of the two points of view. I mean, he never surrendered, right? He fought. Yes. He was in a very bad situation. But I mean, I, I believe that anybody will say, oh my goodness, I won't go. All the time, have wants to well all, all the time uh, he tried to overcome the situation so true one after another one right yeah so that is true and also it was very interesting the the point of view of the company right they 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 were shocked but they listened mm -hmm. and then they they gave him the opportunity even though uh, he did some things that were kind of strange right but I mean that happens also. Sometimes the companies they give you the opportunity, even when you believe it's not going to happen. So another reason for you to fight, right? For you to go for it. You can you can lose anything. I mean, the, the worst that they can say is no. But you try, right? Very good, very nice movie. I really like that one. Yep. Okay, anybody else wants to share? I have a movie. Okay. Um, one of my favorite movies is uh, Predestination. Can you see Predestination? No. Can you I watch? Have seen that one. Yeah, I have seen that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's size free, you know, but it's it's built about uh, I don't know uh, of I don't know it's a uh, drama, a uh, drama history, so. But when you discover the the, the entire treat, it's and it's may blow my mind because I don't know how it is possible that one person, uh, one person can be his 
own father, his own mother, and his grandfather, you know, all the all the family, all the three family is is only well she or he, I don't know, because things the 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 sex too. But uh maybe it's it's one of my favorite because yeah, it's it's science fiction, but the the, the stories are, are very dramatical. So it's not a science fiction tell about I don't know with humor or something like that. It's really a, a drama and when it's for me it's it's um an incredible story. So I like I like it very much. Yeah, I remember that movie. It's a very good movie. I really love science fiction as well. And you are right. I mean, that movie, what it has is that, I mean, you don't know what you are going to watch, right? Uh, as in any new movie that you've seen for the first time. And, and it has a, a twist every time. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's one of those movies that you don't know what is going to be the end. Yeah, in every twist, your your mind is well. What happened? So, but in in one point, you you can uh, imagine imagine the situation, but no, no, it's not no, um, it's not possible. You can feel no, it's not possible. It's it's all a twist, but it is. But you know, it's uh, they follow from the the story in a, in a very dramatical mode. And even if you can imagine when, well, some in the story when, when, when uh, Alan saw, have moved on, have moved on, when the story has moved on, you can imagine some, some twist, but the first time you, you think it's not possible, but it's a movie, <laughs> you know, it's possible, but it's very interesting. Uh, for that build and a story uh, about that so it, it's a it's based on a book but um for by the way i i, I guess i i i had a book for here no for way here. do you have it in english or in <laughs> yeah. spanish no in spanish in spanish okay. <laughs> in spanish because in that time i i i don't try to learn english but if it's possible i i try to get in English, because it's better. But the movie is, I don't know if the movie is better than the book, but the movie is very good. Very true. Yeah, sometimes directors, they do magic, right? Because, I mean, sometimes a, a, a story is good, but they have to think about everything, the imagery, the photography, illumination. So everything feels and reflects what they want. And actually, that's, that is something that happens with this movie. Since the very beginning, it gets your attention, right? It's not something that they present the the people and then you don't know what's going to happen. Since the very first uh, scenes, you are captivated. You, you want to know what's going on. Uh, the way that they present the story is a very good thing. And the director, he made a very good work in all the sequences and all the filming, the photography, everything was, was so very good. Yeah, that is a very good movie. Very one. Good. Anybody else wants to share? I choose. Okay. There, there is a... Her head. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, he, he just commented something. <laughs> Okay, there is a, a movie, there is an old movie, maybe it, it is important because it gives you two points of view. I, I don't remember, it's a family man, something like that, with Nicolas Cage, that oh, yeah. uh, she let her girlfriend uh, and uh, he go to another part, then uh, he became a, a successful businessman with a lot of money and living in a, an exclusive apartment and something like that. But uh, there are the, the question in, in, in his mind. What if, uh, what if, if I get, I uh, had a get married with that, that girlfriend or, 
and uh, he get an encounter with he with an angel, and uh, he can leave the other part. He can leave, and I think that is important because sometimes we ask. Well, what would happen if I do this city that way and in the other way? And at the end, this guy like more the the not the life that the, in the he become a successful businessman, but uh, the life that the, he become a, a family father with two uh, boys and a wife. And then this is important because you can look ahead and, and see that the ideal thing is that you can visualize that uh, before, <laughs> before it, and you make the correct plan. That that is the idea, the the the, the best. But sometimes we we can't because we take uh, decisions uh, without thinking about any. This situation give up uh, 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 that kind of analysis. We can think what will happen if I do the things in that way or in the another way. Very true. Actually, that is related to the video that we made, uh, that we watched today, right? So sometimes you need to plan, make decisions. Sometimes the small decisions that you make can change your life, right? Sometimes you say, no, I'm not going to do this. Or, I mean, Small ones, just as, for example, if you say, I'm not going to take the bus, I'm going to walk, and something happened, bad or good, but it, it's linked to that little decision that you made, right? So, and it can change your whole life. Sometimes you regret to say, I should have done that, right? Or sometimes it's the other way. I mean, very good that I did that one, right? So that happens, that happens. So sometimes... We need to analyze, analyze things. Uh, and that's why, I mean, it's very good. The one that I'm telling you that is related to the first uh, video. I mean, because you don't have to worry about what clothes you're going to wear. You are going to find some food. You are going to have breakfast and have the time for you to, to think about important things. Analyze, have the time. That is a very good reflection. Good. Uh, let's choose one more. Marcos, what's your favorite movie? Hello, teacher. I, uh, my favorite movie. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. But a uh, uh, movie that I have seen a lot of time uh, is uh, Lost Lungs. I think is the translation. With uh, Will Ferrell, is comedy. It's very interesting because uh, it talks about um uh, uh, like they are uh, searching information about other dimension, dimension, and they get lost in in that dimension. And it's like in that dimension, uh. Um, collide a lot of times or in um, different time of the history of the human world collide. So it's like they are in the same place together. Uh, so they are dinosaurs, they are astronauts, a lot of, a lot of things, but basically it's comedy. So I think it's, it's a great movie. I, 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 I love you. No, yeah, I believe that I have seen parts of it. I haven't seen the the whole thing. Sometimes, uh, when I was passing by, I mean, on the TV, uh, I I remember that I saw some parts. I never saw that complete. But now that you mentioned that one, maybe I have to go and look for that one because yes, I remember that it was entertaining. I was checking. I never, uh, I I didn't know, for example, what happened at the beginning. How did they get there? Uh, but I saw some parts, and it's a, a very interesting movie. Yeah. And with Pharrell, he's he's a very nice. I recommend. Yeah. Where is the name? Sorry. I'm sorry. What is the name of the uh, movie? Lost Land, I think. Lost Land, yeah. Lost Land. Lost Land. La Tierra de los Perdidos. 
So you can look for Will Ferrell and you can see all the filmography so you can find the movie. So. Mm -hmm. oh, Will Ferrell has yes. very good movies. True, he has very nice movies. I really like one of the, him uh, that is not a comedy actually uh, that is called what is the name of that movie? I don't remember, but he's a regular person with a regular job, but he hears a voice, and the voice is narrating his life. And he's like, what the heck is going on, right? And, and he ignores the voice, but at some point, he realizes he's going to die, and he says, why? Why am I going to die? So I don't remember. It's... He's living a, a book that, that somebody is writing. Yes, exactly. Yes. It's very yeah. interesting. Yes. Very interesting, yeah. <laughs> I really like that mm. movie. I remember with Ferrari and the Elf. Ah, the Elf was a very funny one. He very so, funny. Uh, he's so silly there in that one. <laughs> very good one. Yeah, you know, movies, TV shows are amazing because of that one. It makes us laugh, live different experiences, uh, reflect about our lives sometimes. So very nice, very nice thing. It's one of my favorite hobbies, to be honest with you. Okay, so uh, this is it for today. I'm going to check their attendance and then, of course, let's go to bed. So, what a Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. For you is the 101 today, if you saw. Okay, teacher. Good. Jarvin Sa Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejia. Present. Good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Dream in English and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Good night. Thank you as well. Thank you for sure. Good night to everyone. Good night. Good night. Hello, Giselle. <laughs> Hello. I can see you're very tired. I went to the gym after the, uh, before the class. Yeah, I feel a little bit tired, and and my day was was tired too, very busy, but it was a very nice day. Okay, very good. I'm very happy that uh, you did lots of things, and I can see that you are going to sleep very well as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. So, well, uh, you have experience in this one. So, the first question I want to ask you is. How do you feel? I mean, you feel that you are moving on, that you are learning? Yes, teacher. Um, especially with the vocabulary that we that we are um that we are learning. For me, a, a lot of words are very, very new. So yeah, I I, I think that I, that I'm learning. As always, I try to 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 practice. Uh, with some videos, with the material that you that you provided to us, and yeah, I I very like to to follow uh, TikTok accounts of uh, English TikTok accounts, and that I, I can I can practice too in my free times at work, and yeah, I really like the 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 methodology that you are that you are using. And yeah, I think that I'm I'm learning. One thing that I feel is that 
I don't know. I feel like more comfortable when I speak in front of my classmates and in front of you. <laughs> and that was a thing that I, that was the, my, my first goal when I started to with, with, with the glasses to sound more fluent. I, I know that I have a lot, a lot of things to, to, to learn, but, but yeah, I feel, I feel great. Okay, I'm very happy to hear that one. Yeah, yeah, I see here that you are more confident, that you are more fluent. So that is a very good thing. So I can see the difference. And I'm very sure that if you continue, of course, you will uh, improve those little things. But there are you know, small things, you know, not that many. So uh, you speak very, very well. And the good thing is that whenever you have the chance, you participate. That is another thing that is going to help you because... English now, I mean, now that you have seen not everything, but most of the things, uh, you just need to practice. That would be the one. Yeah, that is the best way. That's the best way to to improve. Just practice, practice, practice. Sometimes uh, I I I think that maybe I don't know. Maybe some some of my classmates feel like not to to. They, maybe they feel. Uh, maybe uncomfortable speaking and I think that sometimes I don't know like the same you know and I want to to I I, I also uh, feel like it's very interesting to hear the point of view of, of my classmates and that's why sometimes I I stay just a little bit quiet in the class and uh, but yeah when I have the opportunity to 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 participate I I try to do my best. <laughs> and that is very good. I mean, you are right. Sometimes, I mean, I open the microphone, uh, but it's their decision, right? I don't know if they're busy. Uh, sometimes that happens. Sometimes they they are shy, not interested in the topic. Many things might happen. Uh, but if you have the chance, I mean, if they don't want to speak, uh, the ones that want to speak, that is good, good for, for, for me, for them. I try to tell them sometimes, I will try to speak, right? Because that's why you're here. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes, I mean, there are people that are not here in the INSA for classes that they are paying for this. I mean, and, and it's expensive, right? So if they have the chance and they are in this level already, uh, if if it were me, I would speak a lot, right? So whenever I had the chance. Yeah. Very good. Uh, do you have any question, anything that, it's not clear or that you want to review? Mm, no, teacher. Nope. I try to to work with the with the platform. For this week, I no for the last week we have to we have to to finish the the section one, right? Uh, the first one, yes. The second one, no, not yet. Oh yet. Okay. Yeah, because this is the one that is uh, you know, there are only four units. Mm -hmm. But the second one is all lar large, so mm -hmm. it's going to be just the half of it. And then whenever we come back from the vacations, because we, I guess we're going to have some vacations, uh, that week we're going to finish the second unit. Okay. And with the vacations, teacher, we are going to to rest the whole week or just the, 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 like the normal days that, that normally we rest. Uh, like yeah, the Holy, the Holy Week, Thursday and Holy Friday. Uh -huh. I, think um, that I, I don't know. Do you already know if we are going to to rest the whole week or or just that two days? Well, I don't have like an, an official uh, statement on that one. But what I did is I counted the days, and and it seems that we're going to rest the whole week because it's mm -hmm. just an entire week after that one. It's not just two or three days. So uh, in my experience, everything, uh, every time that we have this kind of situation, we rest the whole week. Uh, oh. Anyways, anyways, we're going to wait for uh, the, uh, I believe that they are going to launch something maybe on Thursday or Friday that we're not going to come to the classes or which days. So, uh, but most likely, yeah, we're going to be off the whole week. Okay, that's nice. Okay, very good. Uh, is there anything else that I can do for you before we finish? No, teacher. Okay. 
Very well, it was a pleasure. Remember that whenever you have a question, you can ask in the class, you can ask in the chat in the group, or you can chat with me directly and it will be a pleasure. Hey, teacher, thank you for the feedback and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.